We have Thomas on hards, Wiry on medium, Sway on hards, and Weak on hards. We can see that it's either a uh, one stop or two. Um, the people on the mediums might go two stop. We saw in yesterday's race that the um, the mediums to the hards seem to be really good, but also the hards to the mediums they weren't too bad. I think the pace the pace on the hards are a lot better than uh, you would expect. They can kind of keep up with the mediums a little bit. With um, the gap isn't too too far off. See the weather should just be normal. I think it's a little overcast, but maybe it's just turning into night. So we're expecting Wiry to want to get a good jump here, be able to pass Thomas immediately. The sooner he'll be able to pass, the better. All right, and we're off. Looks like Luke gets a really good jump here. So does Wiry. Wiry already passing Thomas. And it looks like we're about to go four wide through there. Luke, why is the camera not changing? Oh, and Luke looks like he might have lost it right at the end. Thomas holds the position. Sway actually goes past. I did not like that camera. I don't know why it stayed on it so long. Thomas is able to hold the position. Sway gets through. Not sure what happened to Wiry, but Wiry is now in third. Oh, when he goes on the inside right there on Sway. Trying to benefit from these tires, but is unable to. Looks like Sway is even trying to fight against Thomas now. Looks like Sway is showing a lot more pace on these mediums than he was on the softs. Now we have Luke having to make up a four second gap. We'll see if he'll be able to. Oh, it looks like Wiry might be coming into the hits he is must have taken damage thomas goes fastest with that we would assume he's gonna do a uh, two stopper now to the end of this race we'll put on some hards and then maybe go back to mediums at the end of the race Sway almost loses it there. But was able to catch it. Now loses about a second in pace. Luke is now only two seconds behind Sway. And Wiry has a pit stop gap from the rest.
We can see Luke goes fastest through sector two. He's putting in the fastest time so far. Should beat the uh, best lap. Cuts his time all the way down. We get a new fast lap of 124.0, but then we get it beaten by 133.1 by Luke. DRS is now enabled. Uh, Luke is almost in DRS here. We'll most likely get it on the next DRS zone. Shouldn't have it here. But it's slowly catching sway now. Luke is still going even faster. Does the fastest first sector. He's right on the back of Sway now. They're going to come through this DRS detection. Should have it now. Most likely won't attack yet. This is a very hard... I don't like this camera. Alright, there we go. But we'll probably try to attack on the front straight. We can see he is still going faster than the rest of the pack. He's right on the back of Sway here. Wants a good exit so that he can try to pass here on the front straight. This is one of the best ones spots. This or the next one. If he's not able to get it here, he should be able to get it on the next DRS zone. Um, we can see he's still technically behind right there, which will allow him to get the DRS here and should be able to pass him he's really close now. Goes on the, oh, he goes defensive, but goes on the outside and Sway has to concede the position. Luke gets past him. And now he's going to be looking to attack Thomas, get the gap away from Sway. Sway's going to be trying to get back into it. And we can see also the wiry is doing a 133.7. So about the same as what Thomas is doing. But because of that pit stop, we'll have to try to find some pace to even have a chance. Maybe a... <clears throat> Maybe a few mistakes here or there could get Wiry back into this race. <clears throat> oh, we see Sway makes a mistake there. All right, and Thomas responds with a 133.077, so does the fastest lap there. Luke now has to make up a three and a half second gap. Sway takes a penalty for speeding in the pits. That's not what you want to do. We'll see where he comes out. It looks like uh, Wiry should be able to pass him here. Luke takes his first penalty, has four warnings already. Wiry with two. So yeah, he has a three second penalty on top of being three seconds behind. You can see Thomas in the distance though.
Thomas across the line does a 133.6. Luke does a 133.4. So he is slowly catching, but needs to actually catch and make up a three second gap at this point. All right, looks like Luke has it under two, three seconds now. So it's slowly catching. Let's see what his next lap time is. All right, does 133.5. Luke actually goes fastest with a 133.011. So six hundredths of a second faster. And is slowly catching Thomas. Should have Thomas caught in... I'd say 10 laps or so. Um, that's if uh, Thomas does this consistent laps and uh, Wiry does too. Sway actually goes faster. Oh, because he's on mediums as well, but. That's good lap, does 132.9, so Sway does have some pace um, after that qualifying. But not that much faster. We expect all these drivers to be going faster than that near the end of this race, seeing as there'll be less fuel on the car and they'll all be switching to a softer compound tire as we can see here thomas is now got only a 2.5 second gap so the gap is slowly shrinking roughly about two tenths a lap um, so should be able to actually hold it all the way up through the pit section uh through pitting and we'll see where they fall out at. The gap between one and two isn't very big. It's actually pretty small. Doing almost similar times. With Luke having a slight advantage at the moment in pace. We do have Wiry uh, in third. Is losing time to the drivers up front. We'll probably end up having, uh, we'll having a bigger gap going into the next pit time. Um, Wiry will most likely have to pit, pit on lap four, I believe. So should not be able to make it to the end, but we'll see if the, t the tires can, then it's not going to be too bad of a gap by the end of the race. Alright, Thomas does a 133.3. And we have Luke doing a 133.006. So actually gets three tenths there. And now the interval is down to two seconds. 
So it just has to cut down a full second here and we'll be benefiting from the DRS. Right, it looks like Thomas is slightly faster through the first sector by about a tenth of a second. <clears throat> Sway goes in for another pit. All right, and it looks like Luke goes three tenths faster through sector two. So about two tenths faster overall. This way going on to the sauce now. And we can see that Thomas goes 33-6 and Luke goes 33-2. So he's actually catching him at a higher pace now um, might actually catch him before the pit window and it does look like it might happen uh, I think Luke or Thomas just benefited from DRS there Not entirely sure but Thomas does still go faster in Luke just goes off That's unfortunate. Luke does make an error now, or Thomas does make an error and is down nine seconds back. And just like that, Luke is in first now. It looks like Luke must have seen something and actually gives Thomas the position back. Maybe some back markers messed everything up. All right, and we will be going back into where Thomas is in first. So Luke is now back trying to catch up to Thomas. Thomas is back in first again. All right. So Luke is getting closer, and closer to having the ER or the DRS. Only four tenths behind. We can see Sway is doing a fastest lap here. Should come in and do a about a 131. Oh, Delhi does a 132.2. Almost gets to it. <laughs> Alright, so Luke is getting closer and closer. Has it down to two tenths, almost into the DRS. I think we should have it going into the front straight.
is actually close to having it here. Gets a good exit, is actually under going into this detection zone. So might actually get it here and this is going to benefit him a lot. It's going to allow him to be really close going into the front straight. Should be able to make up that gap here. Did look like Thomas used a little bit of ERS to try to help himself. But Luke is still inside of it. Just barely. But it looks like we'll get DRS again. We'll most likely attack on the second DRS zone if possible. It already looks pretty close here. And that time is cutting down all the way to four tenths. Alright, we're about four tenths here. It's not going to be able to attack yet. Thomas does a good job at not losing the position. They are very similar in pace, so it is still going to be pretty hard for Luke to pass. <clears throat> oh, looks like Sway is <clears throat> spun. <laughs> It's out of the way. <clears throat> Looks like Thomas is still able to hold Luke off just a little bit. But I think this is the closest Luke has been this whole time. Looks like he's going to peek. Does actually go for it. Is on the inside here. Thomas is now on the inside. They go through this. Here we go. Let's see who gets DRS. Luke gets DRS and should be able to pass here. He's still holding on the outside together. He's still going through these corners together. Oh, and Thomas does a smart thing and let's... Luke go but loses about five tenths because of it. Just like that, Luke passes Thomas. Let's see if Thomas will be able to stay with them now. Um, their pace wasn't too different in time. So should be able to do it. So now that we are on lap 14, we'll be thinking about when these drivers are going to take their pits. They are on 13 laps on these hards. Barry is on 12. Luke does have a three second penalty. Does need to make up that gap now that he's in front. They're going to go for another lap. So each lap that they do here will benefit them into the late stages of the race. Looks like Thomas might attack here. And this is going to benefit Wiry the most. Seeing as he's got a 26 second gap. Which is a whole pit stop. And then a little bit more. The more they fight, the slower they'll be overall. And it looks like Wiry is already doing his pit. Looks like he goes on to the mediums.
So now we're just waiting for Luke and Thomas to both go into their pits. Not sure when they'll do it. They are on lap 14 on these tires. They're going into the end of four, uh, 15. And they both stay out. So they're going for another lap here on these tires. And we see Sway in the background going in for another pit. Thomas now with a one second gap. Now needs to make up. No longer getting DRS. Wiry comes out with 50 seconds uh, gap from Thomas. Has taken two pits though. Shouldn't need to take another run at this point. With this pace difference, I think Thomas might want to think about pitting here. Maybe try to work a undercut, but it'll be a little bit harder now that I, Luke can respond to any pit. Since there's no other drivers up there with them. And Luke actually goes fastest with 132.084 on those 15 lap old tires. Now on 16 laps. Luke come or Thomas comes in for medium tires. Now we'll be looking at what pace Luke can do. And if He'll actually come in. We'd be expecting Luke to come in on this lap or the next one, one of these two. We would expect him this lap to avoid the undercut from Thomas, since Thomas will be doing should be doing faster laps on these medium tires. We saw Wiry did a 132.8 on his outlap. So we'd expect Thomas to have a similar pace. So the pit stop is about 20 seconds in, uh, slower. We have Luke still out there doing one more lap, I would, I'm assuming here. That's a 133 flat. <clears throat> it is technically faster than Thomas's out lap. Uh, but we'll see what their times are on this next lap here. Looks like uh, Luke has actually made a gap. It's about four seconds or so. We'll see what happens when he comes into the pits, but with that kind of gap, should be able to come out safely in front. But we can see that Thomas did do a faster first sector here. 
We'll see what their second sector looks like. And Luke stays out for another lap. Might actually be stretching into me and to Sauce now. Uh, maybe he wants to go to Sauce instead of, of mediums. We should see Thomas here coming in for a faster lap. Does go faster. A one does a one thirty two point nine. I mean one thirty two point two nine four. So he's actually still slower than Luke on these hards so luke still showing really good pace on those hards but we would expect thomas here to put a really good lap down soon most likely just getting acclimated to these tires they are a little bit softer and they have a little bit more grip And Luke goes even faster, We do have Thomas going faster, but Lucas actually still making a gap. <clears throat> Even with these hards on, is extending out to do a soft run here. It'd be interesting to see how long those tires will last on these for the sauce. We could see Sway out there on four laps, uh, old sauce, so can't be too far off now for switching onto those. We are getting close to puncture territory though for Luke and it does look like he's finally pitting here. Comes in, actually goes on to mediums. Um, not sure if he made that mistake or not. <laughs> if that was intended or not, we'll see. That does just go on to the mediums but has these mediums will easily make it now can even push thomas now comes out only looks like a second and a half or so behind him so actually does a really good job at staying in front even extending those out and has four laps less tire wear going into the end of this race so should we be able to keep this position as long as he doesn't make a mistake here? This on this outlap is going to be very important to get these tires heated up without making a mistake. And then event, once he's able to, it should just should be pretty easy to stay in front after that. Like, we'll see if Thomas is going to be able to get onto the back of Luke or not. 
It's not looking that way. Luke might be using a little bit of ERS here just to make sure to keep him off the back. It does look like Thomas is not going to be able to get onto the back of Luke here and Luke should be okay. Going to into the end of this race here. So we do have the penalty for Luke here. That's still important. Does need to still make up that gap on Thomas. So Thomas is just trying to keep that under. We can see that Luke is close to getting another penalty as well. So he's going to have to keep uh, be careful here not to get a second penalty. So that'll be important not to do. Like Luke is doing a fast lap here. He has the fastest first in second sector. Coming into the last sector here. And does the fastest lap with a 131.559. And actually makes a two second gap, almost two and a half second gap here from Thomas. Almost has that gap made that is required for that three second penalty. Thomas is just going to try just keep it underneath that. And just for try to force a mistake out of Luke here. Maybe he could get him a second penalty. He just keeps it underneath. Then it has a chance. You can see Sway mate is uh, spun again, I think. Wire is now catching him. So Thomas is still doing a pretty good job, but forcing uh, Luke still underneath it. Sway. Finally, looks like you have DC'd or something. All right, Luke does 131.6. So it's showing a lot of pace. We'll be able to get the three seconds out. But then it'll matter if he's able to not get a second penalty. That's going to be pretty important as well. Don't want to get it, especially this late into the race. It'll be hard to make up that gap. Seeing as Thomas isn't uh, super far off from Luke's pace. That a three second would be very hard to make up this late into the race. We have... Wiry pitting again. Most likely going on to the sauce here. He is. Alright. So Wiry is going to be trying to get that fastest lap. We did see them all do roughly uh, 129s in the qualifying, so we might be able to see a 130 flat coming in from Wiry, but we'll see. Luke now having a five 
uh, I mean, a 0.5 second gap now because adding in that penalty. We see that Thomas is taking a second warning, so now is also has a chance to get a penalty. So if Thomas gets a penalty, it should be pretty much over without you know Luke making a mistake. Um, but how it sits now it looks like it should be okay. Let's go sit with Wiry here. Wiry should be doing a fastest lap soon. He also has the DRS coming into the start of this lap. Should be able to get the second one as well. Just like that, he's in front. Uh, does a let's see what lap time he does. Oh, yeah, does a 29.148. So, already four tenths up on the fastest lap time. Will not benefit from DRS through here, though. So sector two will probably be a little bit slower. Um, we'll see when we get up to it. About to get up to the sector line. All right, a full second up on his fastest lap. Does a 39.611 through that sector. So it's on par. Should be able to get a 130. Crosses the line with a 131.193. Almost gets it into the 130. Very close. About two tenths off. But does get fastest lap. It's going to be hard for Luke to get to beat. Let's go back up. Thomas now with a four second gap on him. We have Luke here. Luke does a 131.6. It looks like Thomas all comes in just to do a fastest lap, but also gets a five second penalty here. <clears throat> yeah, no problem, Sway. <clears throat> Thanks for coming out for the race, at least. So we do have Thomas coming in. 
This does force uh, Luke into not being able to pit. Because even if he pits now, he won't be able to do a fastest lap here. And Thomas will be able to try to go for fastest lap with one lap left. So that was a really good late pit on Thomas, not allowing Luke to be able to pit. But Luke, sh now this pretty much solidifies Luke getting the win here. Coming in for his final lap here. Last few corners left. All right, last two corners actually goes fastest through that sector. Might have been saving up to try to do a fastest slop here. Comes through the last corner. How many times the bot hit? And does go fastest with a 130.579. We have Thomas though coming through. Is actually behind in pace here. Might not be able to do it. Oh, and doesn't actually get it. So does the pit. Still doesn't get it. Luke is able to push his tires to the end. He does do the fastest lap with a 130.579. And Thomas was able to do a 130.864. Gets the driver of the day, not a surprise. Does the fastest slap, gains the most positions, and gets position one. Gets the podium. All right, so the order was Luke, Thomas, Wiry, and Sway. That was your Icons Division 
uh, preseason three in Bahrain. I will see you guys in about an hour for our champions division in Bahrain. All right, I'll see you guys then.